Hey guys, WolfRD here. We're back for a new LP, and Blizzard made this game. And Sunsoft. What the hell? Well, I guess that's not bad news entirely. I don't know. But this is the death and return of Superman, and a bloody S is what I'm agree with right at the beginning. So that's kind of creepy. But, um. Actually, reflecting on this g game a bit, this is actually one of the better Superman games ever made. Problem, I, but I also learned that the game is annoyingly difficult. But, uh, as a result of this game not being exactly bad, just annoying, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do another bad game and result. Metropolis, present day, a beautiful, peaceful summer with su evening is when suddenly... What? What's up? Ah, shit. A complete power failure. Didn't I experience that to do today? Jeez. What's up? Deep inside the Metropolis power plant, the Underworlders celebrate their takeover. Alright. Oh boy, what next? Looks like a job for... Ah, oh man. Superman! Oh, great. So, basically... Superman is going to pretty much beat these guys' asses to death. Level 1, Siege of the Underworlders. And this level isn't too difficult, but... Uh, you can start to see where the game kind of has its flaws. First off, this is probably the enemy you'll be seeing 99% of the time. So I got shoot. I should make use of that more often. But uh, as you can see, the game does definitely has nice controls. Superman can fly by pressing B twice in the air and he can lift stuff over his head. Punching is Y. And Superman can grab and beat their face, the enemy's face in if he much pleases. And he also can throw him back on the frickin' wall, which is probably one of the best throws I've seen so far. Usually Superman's not one to uh, be all that nice or all that mean. But in this game, he's like, fuck you, throw your ass in the frickin' f f f sign there. Definitely kind of liking that idea of Superman. He gives nobody mercy now. Alright, so so far Superman's pretty much got to go through these this level. And this level is definitely not going to be where the difficulty is. If anything, this is probably the level you could probably do with all your lives intact. Granted, you uh, don't screw up. And I was just dumping over these, or flying over these beams, because jumping over them, uh, not exactly a good idea, because Superman is not the best jumper in the world, of course. But at least he knows how to fly. That's always a great thing. Then again, he knew how to fly in Superman 64, and that god for all, that was god-awful. So this is definitely, oh, no. So this is definitely not a horrible game, but uh, in fact, this is probably where people get lulled into liking. It's like, oh, this game's not too bad. Just beat the shit out of everything, like Tick. Yeah, it's up, Tick. Don't you blue and everything and muscular like Superman? I even think of another guy. Wow, I thought I just threw him off the elevator and killed him there. Apparently not. But yeah, this game isn't too bad, like I said. I mean, the fact that Superman can fly and has decent controls, that's never a bad thing. And he also has this special move where he pretty much obliterates everything on the screen, regardless of how much health they have. Unless it's a boss, I think it, at least they can survive it. Might not even affect them that much. Punk? Yeah, eat a punch to the face. Though I don't understand how Superman's getting hit here. Is everyone brought their kryptonite brass knuckles or something? Or their kryptonite bullets? Oh, fuck you, little guy getting a free shot. Asshole. And so what you want to do here, since these guys are pretty damn easy, you want to just blow up their uh, little contraption. 
see if you can toss it at him. Apparently Superman just decided wink to wing it over that guy's head, but nevertheless. Oh crap. Got this part too. Wanna well, watch out for that kryptonite laced uh debris falling on my head. Oh, see. Damn it, Superman, stop getting killed by such easy such mindless things like that. No, we are not doing that. Yeah, punk. Eat super laser. And super throw. And super punches. Alright, so there is actually not a horrible Superman game. This is definitely one of them, surprisingly. I think the arcade game was a bit like this, too. Like, the Superman arcade game. Though I'm pretty sure, like, two people, probably not too many people know about it. This kind of has that feel, but that one was entirely 2D. You little punk. Yeah, eat Superman lead. Yeah, come on, bastard. Alright, so far so good. Should be getting to the boss fight soon. Have the debris drop on my fucking head. But yeah, I think this game also has a... Is nice enough to grant you unlimited continues. I can't remember exactly. But I will probably be needing to use save states because this game is frustratingly hard. In fact, every time I do not have five, four lives by the end of the level, I run the risk of not beating it at all. In fact, if I have like zero lives, I'm just gonna say, hold on guys, while well, I kill myself real quick and get back up to snuff. Alright, but this first level is definitely not going to be killing me. This is basically where the game's like, we'll take it easy, then drop kick your ass. And here's the first boss, Walster. This guy's pretty freaking easy. He can kick your ass though. Keep Be wary of that, but this guy is basically the boss where it's like, hey, he will like to do this shit. Let's see how this works. Oh! Oh, you died. Yeah. Special punch for the win. Alright, so level complete. Superman poses like a genius and... Newsflash. Aw, oh, crap. I just skipped through that important stuff. But apparently this guy shows up. And he looks pretty fucked up. I mean, he has... He has, like, freaking spikes coming out of his kneecaps. It's pretty dangerous. Only Superman can save us now. Oh, I'm sure he can. And here's the second level, and this is probably where you're going to see me start dying a lot more, because they got enemies in this level pretty damn annoying. Yeah, I'd like, say the only way to beat this game normally is just to be very, very careful, and I'm going to be very, very careful by using it, saving this, making a save state real quick. And you got Molotov and Chainsaw. The originality of these two enemies is just beyond me. Fuck you, don't be Chainsaw my ass. Yeah, eat that freaking mother boy back there. Punk. Alright, of course you got this little wrecking ball that's pretty much inaccurate and always possible. So you don't have to really worry about that. You just have to worry about these freaking enemies who seem to have like a chainsaw for an arm, maybe? I don't know. It looks like he has a chainsaw for an arm. So just try to keep moving. Try not to get surrounded, because they love to do that a lot. Mainly just... Oh, drop something there, buddy. Just try not to get hit, basically. And you probably might be able to beat this level with three lives. And these guys are pretty easy. Just punch them once. Jump, jump kick off jump punch him off the bike. I would probably suggest using back throw since that seems to be safe. You know what? Fuck you guys. Seriously. Yeah, you want to meet that wall again? Yeah! Oh, thanks. I guess if you, you can get lives by slamming things into the background. Okay. Keep that in mind. Maybe get something good. Yeah, punks. Yeah, give me that freaking stuff back there. So, you, Superman's basically using these guys as a means to an end. Surviving longer. That makes perfect sense right there. 
Oh, bastard. Oh, fucking bastards. Oh, okay, you can stop doing that shit. Punk. Yeah, you're not doing it. Okay. And you want to do, you just want to just fly up here real quick. Alright, so far so not bad. Give me some stuff. Let you... Ah, damn it. Freaking got free, bastard. Oh, you are not hitting Superman. Punk. Yeah, thanks for the extra life, punks. No. Bad, bad punks. And basically, every time when the screen shakes like this three times, you got a boss fight or a mini boss. Wow, way to enter in there, buddy. I enter in and only get my face smacked by a damn wrecking ball. That's that's very menacing. This boss, again, pretty fucking easy. All you has to do, all you have to do is just approach him in a way that he doesn't kick your ass. Look, I am not doing that right at this moment. You know what? Fuck 